this year is our year of judgment and grace because of the cry of God's people, especially in Exodus 3, 7. I heard God said to me, or the spirit of God ministered into my heart, that the cry of the nations and people have come unto him. Therefore, he is coming down to deliver us. So with that one, I can say with, with all authority that I heard this thing in my spirit that the cry of God's people has come unto him. It is a year of what? Judgment and mercy. Then I was asking God, judgment for what? He said a lot of court cases will arise. Hey! Reverend Isaiah, whose member will go to court? So many great politicians will go to court, but many will end up in prison. Hey! Even Donald Trump and Joe Biden will have a court case. I hear the word impeach, impeach. Then I ask, where from this word impeach? Because I thought impeach was for last year. When they wanted to impeach President Trump, but if you are not careful, 2021, even Joe Biden himself, a case about him will come up in his presidency. That will give Donald Trump momentum. Mercy and judgment. Then, why the mercy? The mercy is coming as a result of the cry of the church. Because of the church, the church's cry, the prayer we are praying. Some of the people and the politicians, their cases, they will escape. But I tell you, mark it on the wall. This year, so many politicians will be judged and impossible persecuted. Some will try to run, but Interpol will bring them back home. That's one. Number two, try this. As God will grant us grace. Father, it's not by might. It is our year of finality And preparation for a megadon. It is a year of battle between light and darkness. You remember Daniel had to do a 21 days fasting for a reinforcement over the kingdom of Persia. Now, when I prayed, what I saw is that, remember, it was on the 21 fasting day that the answer came. So this 21 is a year that every battle we are fighting individually is coming to an end. Like those of us who have some resistance, serious challenges, battles over your marriage, battles in your business that you are struggling, you have prayed for so long and you are not seeing an end to it. Receive the grace to see the end. I say this year you see the end. Lift up your voice and shout, I receive it. But when I say preparation towards a megadom, it meant that whilst we are receiving victory in our day by day battles and life, what I heard is that something strange is about to happen, which will be a sign of the war of the preparation of the war of Amegado. The reason I will tell you, it is about the second coming of our Lord Jesus. I will come to that again. One minute. Because that, that side was a bit deep. Number three, I will come to that. Leadership of the nation. 
I think I mentioned that. But I wrote it here again. Many shall fall and many shall rise. Like I said, through court cases, there shall be unexpected health accidental attacks on the leadership of this nation. When I said many shall fall, I don't know if you remember 31st December, when I was giving the prophecy, I said I saw three keys. Did I say three keys? Did I say three keys? Did I say three keys? You've been, you've been, you've been following the prophecy, but nobody has asked me about that last key. I spoke about what Ajakum Kufu, our father Ajakum Kufu, gave Nana Adu. And what Chairman Rawlings could not give Mahama, but I did not mention the other key. A new party is about to arise. That party will shed NDC and MPP. That party is surrounded with some young gurus, powerful guys that God himself is choosing. And as soon as that party enter castle, NDC and MPP will not be popular again. Hey, I see them coming. From the rising of the sun, I see God preparing them. There are some set group, young men and women. And when they start, they will start the third year before our next year's election. The third year of the whoever that will, will be sworn in or whoever that will rule us in the next four years. They will appear within the second year of that president. I see them burning like fire. I see people supporting them with money. And when they appear, NDC or MPP will spill it. Mark it. In the next elections, four years, if we don't pray and pray seriously, MPP will spill it into two. And NDC also will be shaken. Eh? All right. What, 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 what hurts me? We have all these ones here. And they leave us and go to Nigeria and Liberia and somewhere. Excuse me, I'm not there. I'm not there. I'm not there. Number three. Is it, are we going to number three? Number four. National. Wars. International wars. Oh my God. I see that there's likely to be a serious tension on the seas of China, Pakistan, and India. And I heard in my spirit that it is just a surface. of the fighters who will be seen, but the real fighters are behind China, sorry, India, Pakistan, and Afghanistan. No, no. Indian and Pakistan. But there's one of them I just spoke. Who are these nations? China and America and Russia. As the waters troubled. I see one of them was even attempting to try the atomic purification. And the Lord said to me, if we don't pray from now to March and April, Easter, this war is meant to come. And when it comes, sister, Africa and the world will not be the same. There will still be some little financial stress and division in the world. Lord, may you have mercy on us. We decree that the nations of the world are saved. You didn't shout amen. Yeah. Iran. is likely to be shaken this year. Last year I told you 
that they are likely to get themselves involved into a war. But this year, huh, whether you like it or not, you will hear Iran is fighting another nation. And because of this, fuel and global financial fuel system will be under serious stress. Oh! One minute we will hear the fuel is very cheap. Very, very cheap. Another minute before the end of the year, we will hear the fuel has increased. That is what we'll see. But in the beginning of the year, it will go down. So all fuel nations should start preparing when they are writing their budget. They should not put too much hope in the fuel system because the global fuel system itself is going to be shaken. You didn't shout, Amen. Ah! There was something that happened in Tunisia when a man burned himself. And the Arab Spring began from Tunisia and wiped away to Egypt. Am I right? I think Libya and Co. Oh my God. I see the same experience coming. Africus, La Côte d'Ivoire, Togo, Nigeria, Ghana. Some people who have so much money and are terrorists and are connected to an occult society have decided to attack these nations. And you know something? It is supposed to spring and burn like fire. Remember I told you that there was going to be a terrorist attack this year in Nigeria. Very strong. How many of you remember that? And I mentioned the West thing. I didn't mention the Togoland. I said, and Togo. Now you know what? The people are living ready. And you know what? Most of their attacks will be on schools. On stadiums. You know stadiums? And flights. They want to bring a flight down which will contain some great person to put fear upon these nations that I'm talking about. It must start from that angle. Huh. But then, as God is my witness, Ghana will be safe. You didn't shout amen. I said you didn't shout amen. Tell President Buhari to stand strong. Otherwise, terrorists will shake him this year. They are coming with different ideas. I hear them shout, resign, 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 Buhari. And La Cote d'Ivoire's president, who just won his third turn, tell him if he's not careful, he will not end the third turn well. Because some people are determined to stop it. Praise the Lord. Now, let's come to, if you like, natural disasters. Is that okay? And the natural disasters, I perceive in my spirit that there shall be an earthquake. But the earthquake will not be up to the magnitude of six. It will be between six and seven, but it will not, like I'm trying to say, it will not shake us as we expect. But let me tell you, after one of the African countries, oh my God, it shook them to a point more than 100 to 200 people had to die. I don't want to mention that country. Whatever is coming to us, by the grace of Jesus, we command it to pass. There shall be strong rains than 2020. It's okay. But you know something? As God is my witness, this year's rain will not have much disaster on us like people personally burning government buildings 
because of the new government that is coming. Hey, and go for the bank. Momo pay my bank of Ghana. Momo pay my electoral commission. Now momo pay my or buy a buy state institution, especially that can be audited. Some people want to burn these places because of the judgment I spoke about. And some ministries. But you know something, like God told me last year that they shall be caught. These people also shall be caught. Yeah. And if you check, this year's own, last year's own, 2020's own, they are almost caught. Because we were here when we saw what some of the politicians said, that they have evidence of those who have gone around to bend the market. We decree by the power of the Holy Spirit that any group of people that want to bring the integrity and the reputation of this nation into disrepute, may they be arrested and exposed. By the efficacy blood of Jesus, lift up your voice and shout, yes! Is somebody getting me? Where are we now? Hey, the thing has, where are we? Help me. Where are we? Where are we? Five? Six? 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 Alabasiki. Abadabasinka tadabasa. Oh! Amiria to Anas. You remember last year I mentioned some things that he will get a case and another leader in this country, I don't want to mention it. That they will be attacked. Some of them were surely attacked. Brutine Makaa. Some three young men are going to expose are going to expose three great popular leaders in this country to Amiria to Anas. Hey. Anas will play some videos and will come up with certain information. It will shake three great politicians in this country. It will shake them to their core. Why? Because this time the information is coming from the, their, those people, their own source, their own personalities. Hey, with videos and audios and pictures. Hey, your mom by this year, by the time announce will come out again, the nation will stand us upright because both Anas and Amidu, Aminu, 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 is that his name? Oh my God. They are coming out with an information that will shake this nation. Whatever we do, we should pray. Because if you don't pray, one of those cases, the day they'll be showing it, or the day they'll go to court to discuss that matter, they'll be round at the court. As I'm talking to you, it is a betrayer because those people who are going to give the information or who have given the information to Anas are very close people of these politicians. But after the politicians, he will hit on pastors. He has another information about pastors, especially leaders, big pastors in this country. Tell my brother Obimi and tell Obofo his driver. Remember last year I gave a prophecy that they'll be attacked. Remember? Were they attacked or not? And even for Obofo, I said somebody will come out and say something about his financial income and something around him will be, will be damaged. I heard one of his churches in Kumasi collapse or something. Now, thou say the Lord, this year they'll be attacked again, but there'll be more court cases. And one of them, they will try to kill him, but he will escape. Brusanima Lebakata, one great man of God will either get a stroke and die if we don't pray. He's so popular. 
and his is coming as a result of divine judgment you know what I don't know even where I am six or seven eh? it's just flowing like that it's just flowing seven write this down next year the nation and the leadership are about to sign either a memorandum, a, 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 what do you call it? A, a, a mutual a, agreement. With a nation like the United States, I see they want to come and raise a very big project. It is a project that a lot of black Americans will be coming. And because of that project, a lot of black Americans will become citizens of Ghana. I'm talking about popular ones so in Hollywood and all of that. This project is, with, is, a, is a one compound that will have car park, hotels, uh, restaurants, shops, malls, police stations, residence, market on the wall. It shall be shown it shall be signed but before the ending of the president that will rule us the project will commence that one you didn't say amen praise the Lord I say praise the Lord the court case did I say the presidency will go to court are they in court thank you I say, are they in court? Please answer me. Are they in court? Huh. Help me. Just, I'm not, a, 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 I'm not good at fool, so uh, I just want to pick that information for you. Now, somebody will be asking me. U.S. Uh -huh. I'm coming to the U.S. one. Let me talk about Ghana's one. You see the, you see it? Court case for Ghana. Have you seen it? All right. So, Chilabo Abakata Sinketelebo Shakata Rimantini Mekata Rakato Salibri Katata Dabadaba Santa Daba Sakata in Tanema. This year's court case will not be like 2012. Is it 2012? We went to court. Yenche. Oh, Yenche. Messi Yenche. Yenche. Before Easter, we will know who is the president. You didn't shout amen. amen. Easter crowd. But what I see in the spirit is that the court is likely to ask us to do a runoff. And if that happens, Nana Ado will lose the election. If Nana Adodanko Akufado, our, our president, his excellence, will listen to Eja Bempa and do a particular direction that I told Eja in his father's house, trust me, the case will go in his favor. But the majority and the minority in the parliament, MPP will lose it. If we don't pray, two MPs are likely to lose their lives and it will change the status of the majority and minority in parliament. And you know what? The experience that we had some years back in the days of Atamels, when one town one town, time, 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 being the decider of our presidency, market. By the time this court case is over, one of this, the towns is again going to decide who will have the majority 
and who will be our president. But do you know what? If John Mahama thinks that Akufo Ado will release the thing easily, is a lie. So tell Eja, yeah, Papa, say, he should not joke with his prophets. I don't care what you know and think about him. What God looks at the heart of the person and not his outward appearance. He is a man of God and I respect him. Pray for my father Elijah Sali for Amwako. I see a case for him. I don't know what case. But it was not judged in his favor. And I heard in my spirit that God is going to bless him. But the enemy want to attack him with sickness. He is a great man. He will start, he too will, may start a big project that has to do with the church of the Torah. I see the whole place demolished and I see a new contract. The money to do the project, God has released it already. But you know something? I pray, everybody pray. Lift up your right hand. I want you to pray right now for the health of our president, Nana Adudanko Akufa, to pray for him right now. Pray for him. Please cover him with the blood. Pray for our president. Cover him with the blood that no weapon formed against him shall prosper. And that every tongue that rises against him is condemned. Praise the Lord. In Jesus' name. Are you here, somebody? I say, are you here, somebody? I say, are you here, somebody? Are you still here? I'll release you soon, don't worry. Amen. Now, look at it. Amen. Now, look at it. Amen. Now, look at it. American, uh, the U.S. elections. Please visit my YouTube channel and my Facebook account and, and please remind yourselves what I said 31st night about the U.S. that I seized from holding the flag. You can't believe it. I said yesterday, I went and I went and I went, and I saw found Trump holding the flag. Joe Biden will be sworn in. But if you don't pray for Joe Biden, I see him fall. Eh, pray for Joe Biden. I just saw him walking like that, and he just fell. Yes. You saw him? God bless you. I just saw him as him from a the thing, how many of you know Moti Amfram? Uh -huh, Sane, yeah, no. The thing hit him and he was on the floor. So we should pray for even though he will be sworn in but he will battle with some health issues that he may not tell us but he will battle with some health issues. And the case that I spoke about pray for him. He's likely to involve himself in a very serious case whilst he's the president because Trump has decided not to give up the flag. Now let me give you this final word. The key that was taken out of Trump's hand, Trump is fighting to take the key back. He will not get it. But something strange will happen in America this year. Where if you are not careful, the court, I'm using the word carefully, I say if we are not what? Careful. Americans may have to vote again. Rerun. Then finally, I see them that if we don't pray from now to Easter for a resolution in the courts for America, they will fight again, but this time the fight will be worse. Hey, this time I saw Al 
pastors, I saw guns. I, I see men come out to face men. And this black life matters will be risen up seriously after Easter if we don't pray for the United States of America. Finally, where am I? Ten. Now add this one, Jara. Oh, there are two more. Just this one and another one. I'll just pray. Because that one is a direction. Rulani Mosaka. I see the queen. You know the queen? England. I see her hand over a sword and a key to her grandson. Who is that? What? Not, 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 not Diana's husband. The son. What is his name? Is that okay? Is, what is his name? What is his name? Hmm? William. Thank you. William is, he may sit on the throne of Britain. Or this year, he will be affirmed by the queen as to whether who she wants to inherit her when she's no more. But mark it, I see a funeral in the Beckingham Palace. It may not be the queen, but it is somebody very close to her. Finally, this year, if you want God to bless you and favor your cause and lift you and make you a better person, don't joke with fasting, especially like I said last year, on the day you were born, every week, try and do at least 6 to 12, 6 to 6. And you will turn things around. Your destiny will never be the same. I'm not talking to somebody here. I say, I'm not talking to somebody here. I'm not talking to somebody here. Say thank you, Jesus.